Hey there, what's going on? Elisa here, Raw Food for Kids. Hope you're having a great weekend. I sure am. And uh, getting ready to make some lunch. And what am I going to make today? I'm going to make something super awesome and delicious. So healthy. Um, give you lots and lots of energy for your weekend. I'm going to be making a rice bowl, raw vegan rice bowl with a, uh, a coconut curry sauce. So um, to start with, then, let me show you how to make the rice, okay? I've done this before in other videos, but um, some of you might not be aware of how to make uh, raw rice. Well, I'm using some cauliflower, all right? Um, I've got a half of a head of cauliflower, all right? The florets, just washed them up. I already did some just to save some time. I'm going to show you. I'm going to put it right in the food processor. It takes like 10 seconds. All right, you just put the cauliflower florets in the food processor, and you just want to pulse it. And it's going to basically turn into little crumbles that look like rice. And just like, yeah, pulse it. Done. And there you go. That's going to be the rice. And I've done um, some other videos you could check out that... Um, I think I may like kind of like use this almost like a couscous, and you can put anything you want in here, but it's really pretty tasty. And that's my rice, and I thought um, a coconut curry sauce would be something really yummy, so we'll make that here in a second. So there's my rice, and real easy to do this. I mean, like I said, you could add almost anything you want to it. Um, I'm going to put in some, uh, i got some uh, sliced cucumber, alright, it's all to taste, I'm going to make this real vegetable -y. so that was like a half of a, you know, seedless cucumber. I actually like to take out some of the seeds um, with a knife or you can use a spoon, just run it through, and that just, uh, you know, makes it a little less waterier. Um, I've got a yellow bell pepper, I just did this in small dices, there's no right or wrong way. So you could use any uh, vegetables you want. So I got one bell pepper in there, half of a cucumber, and I've got some uh, papaya. Um, you could use mango, or you can leave the fruit out if you want. I thought this would add a nice uh, sweetness and um, also a nice uh, kind of coolness to uh, the spiciness of the sauce. And plus, look at this colors. I mean, we're getting uh, into the warm weather. I mean, we were supposed to go to the uh, the farmer's market this morning, but the weather here is a little, little crummy, um, kind of windy and a little rainy, so we didn't get to make it this morning, but I was going to make this and bring this to the farmer's markets. Look how pretty that is. Packaged really nicely. You can even make this the day before if you want. So there we go. That's like my rice bowl that I'm going to put in here. And now I'm going to make the um, coconut curry sauce. I'm going to do that in the blender. I guess you could do it in the food processor, but I want it nice and smooth. Um, for the coconut curry sauce, I took um, a third of um, shredded unsweetened coconut, um, like this. If I had a fresh coconut, I would use the meat from one coconut, but I didn't. Um, so this is just some uh, dried coconut flakes that are unsweetened. So I have a third of a cup, and I also have one pitted medjool date, and I've been soaking that in about a third cup of water. Um, for a couple hours. I did it this morning. So I'm going to put this in the blender. And I'm, I want to use that soaking liquid because that basically tastes like coconut water. So good. Mm. And I'm going to add some more water to this because I want it to be a sauce consistency. Let me see. I'm going to add in um, I'm going to add in a cup uh, a half a cup of extra water to that. Now I'm going to blend nicely, coat up everything. And then I'm going to put in my spices. So I'm going to put in um, obviously some curry powder. This is like a real hot curry powder. You can use mild. Um, mine just happened to come in a little bag. I'm going to put in some cumin and some coriander. And this really is all to taste. Um, I'm just going to kind of yeah, sprinkle a little bit here. This is the coriander. Coriander kind of tastes like, um, uh, what's that herb? Um, cilantro. Can't think of it. Kind of tastes a little bit like cilantro. I'm going to put a little bit of cumin in. Alright, and 
And then I'm gonna put in my curry powder and then put all this in. This looks like like a half of a teaspoon at most. And like I said, it's all to taste, and I'll probably put a little salt and pepper too. So now I'm just gonna blend this up. Mmm, smells so good. Looks a little thin, but that's okay because I want it to kind of coat all the vegetables. Let me taste it here. Mmm. Taste the spice. Mmm. That's really good. Sweetness from the coconut and the date. Um, and then the kick from the uh, the curry. And you just got a little hint of the um, coriander and cumin. <clears throat> Yummy! And I want kind of a thinner sauce because there's a lot here and I want it to kind of marinate and coat everything. Right, check that out. Sprinkle a touch of sea salt. Look at that. Give this a taste here. I like using different colors, different textures, you know, makes things real interesting. So I'm going to get a little cucumber. And, oh, I have a little bit of fresh basil, too. I think I'm going to put some of that in there. Kind of julienne that up and put that in there for a little freshness. Mmm. Has the perfect lunch. Perfect for a picnic. I'm going to put some of that basil in, but I won't uh, take up any more of your time. You could easily do that. But, um, yeah, there you go. A nice uh, rice bowl with a uh, coconut curry sauce and a little fruit and vegetables in there. Feel free to, you know, put whatever you like in there. There's really no right or wrong. But, anyways, remember to always eat happy foods. I thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to these videos. And um, go to the uh, Facebook uh, homepage for Raw Food for Kids and go like that and keep up to date with some photos and things like that that I'll post um, that I don't put on YouTube. And anyways, that's it for now. Have a super awesome weekend. Take care.